All right, uh, there was another huge game, a lot of good games this weekend, but another big game. And, of course, that was the Dallas Cowboys putting it on, putting it on the Philadelphia Eagles in a in an NFC divisional matchup. The Cowboys, of course, won 33-13 to and really uh, had a dominating performance of the previous number one seed in the NFC. And Dak Prescott, who was very good, Martin, but wasn't 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 fantastic. He had a fumble uh, that led to a that was a like a I call it a rip six, but a fumble that led to a touchdown. Threw for two hundred seventy one yards, uh, twenty four for thirty nine, two touchdowns, no picks. But it was enough for him to move into first place as far as the odds makers are concerned. In the MVP race, I've still got Brock Purdy for now. I'll say this. Dak is about to enter his gauntlet, or he has entered it, right? Uh, Philadelphia just had an incredibly tough five-game stretch. They came through it three and two. But Dak, after, you know, they played a lot of what I call tomato cans early in the season. Mm -hmm. The couple of good teams they played, San Francisco bashed them. Philly beat them in Philadelphia. And then they came out. Seattle's a pretty good team. They beat them. And then they beat the Eagles, of course. They got Buffalo, Miami, and Detroit awaiting. If Dak plays well in those games, even if they may drop one, but if he plays great like he has been for the most part, then I I got no problem with him being MVP. I think it's very close. I think it's going to go down to the last week or two of the season um, but I, I don't think he did enough on Sunday, especially considering that Brock Purdy threw for, what, 368 yards himself and two touchdowns uh, for the Niners in their big win. Uh, so where are you at on the MVP, and do you think Dak did enough to move ahead of Purdy or move just into first place, period, in the MVP race? I do. I mean, I thought I had him as a favorite last week prior to because the thing about Brock Purdy which is not an insult to Brock Purdy it's not an insult to say somebody is not the MVP but I wonder and I don't think it's crazy to think that if Christian McCaffrey was not available who had 95 yards on the first five carries at a game last week or Sunday that uh where where would Brock Purdy be and that's not know or you just wonder See, that's the thing. You're dealing in hypotheticals. You All right, but wonder. I'm dealing in reality well, with, with Dak seen, Prescott. I'm what dealing, we've seen is that Brock Purdy's been getting it done. I'm dealing with reality with Dak Prescott, though, because the thing is, all right, sure, maybe you would rather have Brandon Ayuk over CD, I'm CD Lamb over Brandon Ayuk, but every other skill position, 49ers got the Cowboys beat. And I think that when you look at the way that Dak Prescott has been playing the last few weeks, especially, especially since that, again, that drubbing that they got up in Santa Clara, Dave Hellman just said it. Mike McCarthy realized that Dak is the engine to this offense. And so what did he do? He went and engineered a game in which they beat one of the NFC favorites in the Philadelphia Eagles by 20 points, right? Like, he didn't need to do more than he did. And so I like I not I can't knock him for, like okay, obviously you know you don't you never like to see a guy fumble six right or right, lose right. turn the ball over like that. So did he have a perfect game? No, but I have no qualms with a guy who just beat the Super Bowl runner up by 20 points. And I know you pointed out the Eagles game uh, in 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 uh, Philadelphia. They were look. He doesn't step out of bounds there. Shoemakers it, it takes one step in closer, or they rub route. They execute that the right way. That's a touchdown. That game's a different game, right? So I'm not trying to take. But again, they lost it. So sure, I'm not. Who's trying to, been better in the big games? Dak Prescott. Who's Purdy. To me? Really? So Purdy throwing for four touchdowns and and like 260 some odd yards. Against Dallas, when Dak had three interceptions and one touchdown, Dak was better. Purdy throwing for, I mean, look, look at, see, that's, I, look, again, I think it's very close. And Dak is having a great season. And what I will say is this I do agree that Dak is driving his offense and doesn't have as much help as Purdy. However, he's got plenty of help. Tony Pollard is good. CeeDee Lamb is is playing like a top five receiver. Jake Ferguson has come along, and he's got a top five offensive line. 
What does Purdy have? At least according to Pro Football Focus, all Purdy's pros, got Chris. the 22nd. Hold on. Do you need to be blocked for? Because Purdy's got the 22nd ranked offensive line in the league. Dak's got the fifth ranked. I think that matters. I mean, you can talk about the skill positions, and there's that's true. But what about the big hogs up front? You need somebody to block and protect you as well. And, and I also think head-to-head, as I said, Purdy against Dallas. Four touchdowns, 252 yards passing, a 144 passer rating. Dak, three picks, one touchdown in that game. Purdy against Philadelphia, 314 yards, four touchdowns, zero picks. 148 or close to 149 passer rating. I mean, the dude in the big games has been delivering like crazy. Jacksonville, uh, three touchdowns, no picks, 296 yards, 148.9 passer rating. Tampa, of course, he had the perfect passer rating. Like, I mean, he the dude is killing it statistically and throwing dimes as well. Like, he, and it's not like all his yards are coming after the catch. Only like 48% of his total passing yards has come after the catch. Chris, that's half. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's, oh that's, you want to. That's a significant wanna, number. All right? Okay. And keep I'm not, it there. Hold on, hold again, on, hold on. I'm not taking hold on, anything hold on, away from Hold on, him. let me finish. All right. Because keep, keep that same energy when I read you these statistics, Martin Weiss, that are going to make you, make you bite your tongue. Okay. Here, here's the percentage of your passing yards that are after catch for Brock Purdy this year and the previous five MVPs. Brock Purdy this year, 48.9% yards after the catch. Wow, seems like a lot. Until you see that Patrick Mahomes last year, 54.3% after the catch. Rodgers a year before, 52.7% after the catch. Rodgers the year before when he won his first of back-to-back MVPs, 52.3. Mahomes in 18, 51.2. And even with Lamar in 2019, only 43.5% of his yards were after the catch that year. But even with that, the previous five MVPs have averaged 51% of their total passing yards were after the catch. So Purdy's beneath them. So what's the argument now? Because everybody wants to say he's just throwing these little slant patterns and dudes are taking it to the house. But yesterday he threw, what, 40 air yards to Debo for a 50-yard touchdown. Ayuk, he hit on a long pass. Kittle, he hit on a long pass. All like, of those guys you're doing listing right too. now what? have arguments to be all pro. Per- <laughs> all of Fine, those guys you just But they listed. wouldn't be all pro if he wasn't throwing them the football. But the point is, Chris, they have arguments to be all pro. So he Devontae should be punished Adams for that? Had arguments he to should be, be punished for that? It's not a punishment to say he's not the MVP. It's not a slight. It's not a disrespect. It's just simply his, not. His numbers, are at only least, be one. his numbers are at least equal to Dak's, if not better. It's very close. We can call it a wash. Call I mean, it a wash. Dak. Tell me he's how many Dak. all pros is on Dallas's offense right now. C.D. Lamb. I know there's a couple linemen. They got the fifth best offensive line in the league. So that's two. I mean, all pro. That's what uh, I'm talking about. All pro. Because George Kittle McCaffrey's right now. McCaffrey's going to make it. And I don't know that either one of those receivers is going to first team all pro. How Top many? two receiver. I mean, Ayuk have, is having a great year. Debo is just becoming Debo again. You know that, right? He's like got the like last, six touchdowns in the last three weeks. Right. That's what I just said. He's just becoming Debo again. You hadn't seen him do this since he got injured. Because he broke his shoulder. And what happened after Debo broke his shoulder? But no. What Martin, happened? Martin, my point is this. What, what happened after he broke his shoulder? Well, last year they were 3-0 and and then got to the NFC okay, Championship Okay, but this year game. we're talking about the MVP No, last now. year they were 3-0 and without him. But this my year. My point is this. Early in the season, Debo wasn't playing like this. Debo is just, as you said, the last three, really last three weeks probably, really gotten back to being Debo. And I think Debo is one of the best football players in the league. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying you can't put all the production Brock Purdy had early in the season on Debo. I'm not. But what happened when he got hurt? 
The 49ers went 0-3. Last year, they went 3-0 and when he got hurt. All right, but last year don't well, have he nothing to do with this year's McCaffrey MVP. McCaffrey was there. Why couldn't McCaffrey carry him? Because he had a strained oblique. He was also hurt. But he was playing. He was also hurt. That's well, you're playing. Thing. You're playing. I don't want to hear about injuries. We're not talking about Jalen Hurts injuries. All right, Trent so then what Williams, happened? Trent Williams was hurt as well. Now, he played, but he was hurt too. So you had several guys hurt. And what had happened? Well, Brock, Brock couldn't Purdy, pick it up. Brock Purdy put him in position to beat Cleveland. And, and a rookie, a rookie kicker missed a 41 yard field goal. That's Brock Purdy's fault, I guess. Right, well, Dak the Prescott second, had the Cowboys the ready to beat game, the Eagles, and a, and a Michigan, former Michigan tight end, Luke Schoonmaker, was decided to go down an inch before he was supposed to. Like, we could play that all you want, but the bottom line no, is. No, no, that's, that's different than the kicker missing oh, okay. a 40 yard. It is. Oh, okay. A 40-yard field goal. I mean, he didn't have a defender bearing down on him like Schoolmaker did. There's 11 people trying to block a field goal. <laughs> like, Man, stop. I mean, a 40-yard field goal is a gimme nowadays. Uh, and dude couldn't make it. Against my, you see, I, I'm old enough to remember a few weeks ago against the Colts when Miles Garrett jumped across the offensive line and intercepted a field goal. That's the same team that Jake Moody missed a field goal against. Also another former Michigan All right, you player, mentioned no. you mentioned that Dak's been on an all-time heater, right? He has. Well, in the last, okay, in the last five games, Purdy's got more passing yards, all right? He's got a higher um, completion percentage. And his QB rating is 136 to Dak's 107. Because he's over got the better last weapons. 50, over the last uh, 50. Uh, but he don't have a better offensive line. He's got better weapons, Chris. You need Chris. time. Neither one oh, of these. Oh, Dak don't have enough weapons. That's it? I'm not saying he doesn't have enough weapons. They're doing just fine with the with the lack of weapons compared to the 49ers that they do have. Michael Gallup. Who's no- been better in the big games? Chris, Listen. Who's I been noticed, better in the big game? It's a simple question. Brock Purdy went 0 3 in a stretch, right? All right. Did Dax lay a they stinker against the 49ers? Sure. Did he lay a stinker in, in Philadelphia? I don't believe so. But no, if you want to go stinker, ahead and say it was he did, a stinker against sure. Arizona. Uh, sure was a stinker in Arizona. Was that a big game? Yeah, they lost. Oh, okay. Every so game is a big well, game. Well, then in that case, where is the same energy for when Brock Purdy lost to whoever was Josh Dobbs playing quarterback for the Vikings at that point, or maybe Kirk Cousins? Was thing. that the game where he got concussed and then threw the two interceptions? He's on the field. Oh, but but, he, but you just told me we're not talking about Jalen Hurts injuries. Don't matter. Come on, Chris. Let's keep being it. Let's, let's keep. Let's matter. just keep a little consistency, like all the I Kansas City Chiefs fans are crying for I'm right now. A little head consistency. To head. I'm saying head to head. Brock outplayed Dak. I'm saying in the big games, Brock has been better statistically than Dak. I mean, Brock Brock has Brock is averaging darn near 10 yards per attempt. You know the last time, well, he's he's actually done it. He's more yards per attempt than Kurt Warner in 2000. No one has averaged more yards per attempt in NFL history since Dak Pur- what Dak Purdy's doing in the last 69 years, Martin. You got to go back to cats like Sid Luckman and Otto Graham. Chris. I mean, this dude, dude is doing something we haven't seen in 70 years. Christian McCaffrey had 17 touchdowns in 13 weeks. Oh, he's great. And he was hurt for three of the games. Like He played in so the game. who I we is the engine of the team? I thought we were having consistency. Who's, they all are. Uh, but the quarterback, oh, okay. we all agree all right, that the all quarterback – we all agree that the quarterback is the one making the decisions, getting the ball to these guys, and and people try to bring up Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo never had stats like this because he was sorry. Brock right. Purdy, okay, I but agree. My point is, Chris, Purdy, Brock Purdy, Purdy is Purdy better than credit. Jimmy Garoppolo. I agree. That's why he beat him out. I agree. Brock Purdy is better than Jimmy Garoppolo. They're- no, my point is, don't just say it's the system when. Jimmy Garoppolo has success in the system, but not like this. They weren't scoring like this. He wasn't putting up these types of numbers. I mean, you don't put up these numbers and not be a, a, a really good player. And I'm not even Who calling him elite. It? I'm not even calling him elite. I'm just saying, to me, head to head, and in big games, he has the edge over Dak. Now, Dak might, you know, Dak's got time because Dak's got his gauntlet coming. And that's fine. And I have no problem if Dak is MVP. But I'm just saying, to date, Brock Purdy's proven more against better teams. Who should be the MVP frontrunner right now? Dak Prescott 
or Brock Purdy or someone else, Tyreek Hill or whoever. Your thoughts next. All right, let's go out to Atlanta. Brian in Atlanta, you're on the Odd Couple on Fox Sports Radio. What you got, champ? Hey, thanks for taking my call. I, you know, I, I can't – I feel like Allen Iverson. Dak Prescott? Really? We're talking about Dak? I can't I, – I just – no. Um, I don't know who it is. It could be Brock. Brock Purdy's playing, I think, better, and he's winning on the road in tough games. But you're right, he's got a great team. I don't know what you're supposed to do, but uh, for my money, it's I, you know I watch the NFL, and, you know not an eye test or anything, but it's not Dak. It, okay, pick somebody else. It's not Dak Prescott. He's not the MVP of the league. He, uh, that's that's um. It's that's it's wrong. interesting because I mean, that that attitude that you have toward Dak is basically the reason a lot of people aren't want, don't want to give it to Purdy either, Martin. I don't like, they think feel so. Like, I well, think he's that. not an MVP type player. You know what I honestly think, Chris? I think we've had so many discussions about Dak Prescott. Should he get paid? Is he elite? That right now you're seeing guys like Brian with just, I mean, let's be honest, hater takes. Right? Like, but that's my point. He hasn't been elite throughout his career. Uh, that's, but and that's so what... people are holding that against him just like they're holding. Look, if Purdy, let me ask you this way. Uh-huh. If Purdy was Trey Lance, if Trey Lance was doing the exact same thing right now, that Brock Purdy is, and I'm not saying, oh, he's running more because he's more athletic. No, he is doing the exact same thing Brock Purdy is doing. Don't you think he's the runaway MVP right now? I don't, Chris, because he Man, still has I, I Christian McCaffrey that. and Brandon Ayuk and, and George Kittle. Brandon Ayuk, you talking about Brandon Ayuk like he's some freaking, you know, all pro. He hasn't been yet. And if he is, it's emerging this year with Brock Purdy throwing him the football. So okay, so okay, got you. All right, let's go to Drew in Denver. Let's see I what he's got McCaffrey to say about it. I remember McCaffrey being one in six in Carolina too. Chris, uh, you keep bringing up ago. all these last year. I'm just stats. saying. What have well, you done on, for we, me lately? We going champ? on their history. I mean, McCaffrey's having a great year, but it ain't like he's running for two thousand yards. Go ahead, Drew. Denver, you're up. All right. Hey, I was waiting for y'all to finish, but uh. I personally think I think Dak should be the MVP. I think the 49ers offense is more collective offense, and I think the Cowboys offense is more just what Dak can do for them. Like they have no, they don't really have a running game still. So I, and and the 49ers do. So I think more is put on Dak Prescott than than Brock Purdy. Yes, Brock Purdy has the better numbers and pass rating and all that, but more is put on Dak Prescott. It's it. That's what I feel. But, I do agree but, with that. I, I I do think more is put on Dak. I will give you that because I, I agree they don't have the skill position exactly. as great, but they also got a much better offensive line, which matters.